Now, the next thing we want to talk about is how to subtract rational expressions. We've looked at addition. Now we want to look at subtraction. It follows the same process as you do with addition. If you have expressions that have the same denominator, okay, p over q minus r over q, you do the same thing to subtract the numerators and leave your common denominator. If they were different denominators, then again you would go through the steps of finding the least common denominator, finding your equivalent expressions, and then subtracting them. So we will start with looking at an example of uh, subtracting expressions that have the same denominator. Now you can see you have 5m over m plus 1 minus 1 plus 4m over m plus 1. So just like your definition says, subtract the numerators and keep the common denominator. Now you will notice that when I combine my numerators together, I put the second numerator in parentheses. The reason we do that is with the negative sign here, the subtraction sign, when you subtract these two together, that negative will change the signs of your second numerator. If you don't do that, you will not come up with the same answer. Your answers will be incorrect. So be careful when you're working with subtraction. You always want to put the second numerator in parentheses. All right, so this will give you 5m minus 1 minus 4m over m plus 1. So you can see what I was talking about. Your negative makes your 1 a negative uh, number. will also make your 4m being a negative number. Okay? So now you can go ahead and combine your uh, like terms together. So 5m minus 4m will give you 1m or just m minus 1 over m plus 1. Okay? And you can see this is already in lowest terms, so you don't have to break it down any further than what you have here. Okay? Let's take a look at uh, another example here. Now, in this example, we are talking about two expressions with different denominators you have 1 over k plus 4 minus 2 over k. Now you first start out by finding your least common denominator. Now you have k plus 4 and k. Uh, in this case, you will see that um, you, know, you don't really have any factors that are common between these two denominators. So your least common denominator will be just k times k plus 4. You just multiply the two denominators together and you will end up with your least common denominator. So that tells us when you're trying to make these into equivalent expressions, you will multiply your first fraction by k, okay? So you multiply your first expression by k and then you will have to multiply your second expression with k plus 4 so that both your denominators will be common denominators. And let's see, what will that give us? You will end up with k over k times k plus 4 minus, again, go ahead and distribute the 2 with the k plus 4, which will give you 2k plus 8 over k times k plus 4. So now, both your expressions have the common denominator, and you can now combine your numerators together, just like we did in the first example. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we combine these two together. And you will end up with, let's see, if we try and combine these two together, you have... k 
minus, again remember to put this in parentheses, okay? You're doing k minus 2k plus 8, so put the 2k plus 8 into parentheses, and now you can write this whole thing with its common denominator of k over k plus 4, okay? So here you have k over k plus 4, 2k plus 8 over k plus 4. When you combine it together, it's important that you put that in parentheses. And let's see. You will end up with k minus 2k minus 8. Denominator stays the same. And combining your like terms together, you will end up with negative k minus 8 over k times k plus 4. Again, notice in this example when you um, so the, finished with your subtraction, the answers that you ended up with is already in its lowest term. So again, you don't have to break it down any further, and this will be your final answer for that uh, subtraction.